I'm Susan Brown, the Community Education Nurse at GLSS, and in this episode of Seasoned and Smart, we are going to be focusing on the Linfield Senior Center. We've been here all day and having a wonderful time taping a whole variety of activities, and we're really glad, Linda, that you invited us over. This is Linda Nakara, who's the director of the Senior Center. And uh, later on, I'm going to be talking with Debbie Trifletti, who's the outreach worker, so we can hear a little bit more about all the activities and the focus of the center. And I know you've been here a number of years. Uh, when you first came, what, what was the mission of the Senior Center, and what are, were some of your goals when you got started? Well, it's kind of funny, because when I came, one of the, the um, interview questions that the board asked me when they were interviewing me was, the center consists of two rooms and we have just inherited eight rooms. What would you do with these rooms? And I didn't know. I had just moved to New England and you know, I thought, well, if I had a dream senior center, what would it be? And I thought we would try to have as many activities, uh, a wide variety of activities, so that we could draw in a variety of seniors. Uh, some people who are able to exercise, some people who are able to uh, perhaps play bingo or, or have hot meals. We wanted a good meal program. We opened up a hair salon and um, a computer lab. and. The center grew uh, very quickly. We went from five programs a day and about 50 seniors a day in those two rooms to well over 200 seniors every day now and about 16 programs a day. So we have really grown with the help of a lot of good volunteers and a great staff. We, we've uh, made the senior center, I think, something for everybody uh, to help seniors get out of their home and keep them fit in both mind and body. That's an amazing amount of growth. That's it is. Like wonderful. <laughs> it is. That's wonderful. We saw sleep very good at night. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Are there any particular uh, newer sort of exciting programs that have really captured your interest in terms of how um, seniors have responded? I think in this particular center, the seniors seem to be very a interested in exercise classes. And we have a variety from jazzercise to tai chi and yoga. Uh, the newest rage is Zumba, and that is bringing senior citizens in like nothing I have ever seen before. We have Zumba here two to three mornings a week, and we have anywhere from 30 to 40 seniors who come in at all levels. They, you know, some people are walking through it and some are jumping through it. Um, one morning a week we have Zumba drumming, which is a lot of fun. It's, you, the seniors come in with a big exercise ball and we put it in the chair and the uh, Zumba instructor gives out uh, drumsticks and she puts the music on. and. Uh, they love it. It's called Senior Gold, so it's kind of a, a little toned down from regular Zumba classes, but um, that has been a huge hit here, along with our Italian classes, uh, beginner and intermediate level. The seniors really seem to love learning a new language. Our intermediate class actually traveled to Rome as a class uh, a couple summers ago with their teacher. So, um, you know, the classes are popular and it definitely they come, they meet people, and they become a family in many of our programs, which is, I think, the ultimate goal. Well, and I think a little bit later in the show, we're going to have uh, a chance to see the Italian, intermediate Italian group yes. in action, which was which they're, is wonderful. They're a fun group. Yes, they, they taught me how were. to make brajol. They walked <laughs> me through it. So. That's, that's <laughs> terrific. Uh, we're going to um, see a video that was uh, taken a year or so ago by some folks at the Linfield Cable and um, just be prepared, viewers, that you're going to get hungry because there are a series of pieces around cooking, including a recipe. Mm -hmm. And then when we return from that, I'm going to ask you, you know, a few more questions about what some of the other programs are and maybe what was going on in this videotape. Okay. okay. Start up a cup of oil. I love this. I think this is really good. One and a half of cinnamon. And then this is a 10 ounce bag of whole almonds.
breakfast. Oh, boy. We got the camera. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, Linda. Hi. Thank you. I want to come back for a second. Yeah. I got some home calling. He's getting to know me. French toast, uh, cinnamon raisin French toast, and then we have sausage, hash browns, fresh fruit cup. And, uh, yeah. Fuck you, Danish. Oscar. Very beautiful day. Here's my good breakfast. Nice, beautiful French toast. And here you get your potatoes. <laughs> Sausage? Yeah. Okay. There you are, sir. <laughs> How about some home fries? Sure. Want to trace it? There you go. Carry it off. Breakfast. How about uh, one of these? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. She's kind of heavy on one trip. Thank you. Best breakfast cereal in town. Hi, Rosa. Hi. This is Rosa, our here dresser. She has a real good job. Everybody's here. Everybody loves her. Um, she's here Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock to like 2 30 to her appointments. Call the front desk, uh, it would be 1 599 8107 8. And make an appointment with Rosa, and um, she's got a lot of bookings, so you know, give us a call, we'll squeeze you in. Okay, we'll Hi, I'm Julianne. I work for the town of Linfield, drive the bus. Uh, we have a lot of activities at the Senior Center, which I pick up people door-to-door -door service. We do a lot of grocery shopping, ball shopping, medical appointments. So if you want to call up at 781-598-1078, make an appointment and I'll come pick you up. Hi. Um, one of those... Um, clips there was about the breakfast and uh, I was interested because it seems to have a terrific following. Yes, our breakfast is huge. Every Friday morning um, we have about 50 to 70 people who are waiting at the door at 8 o'clock. It all started 10 years ago when I first came here there was a small breakfast that you could come in for a dollar and buy coffee and a piece of uh, Danish or a donut. And after about a year or so, some of the volunteers came forward and we said, you know, I think we can do better than that. And we recruited different cooking teams, all volunteer run. And now it is, you know, pancakes, sausage, bacon, hash browns, fresh <laughs> fruit cup, $3. They are waiting at the door at 8 o'clock. And by about 8.20, the food is gone. Every, we've got it down. The volunteers are wonderful. They can cook it fast and serve it fast. And it is a really fun morning. We have music. Usually we have a piano player playing um, some old songs up on the piano, and it's really just a nice social morning. It brings in a lot of men, um, uh, just a really nice mix. It's a good way for somebody new to come in and just meet people in a very relaxed, fun atmosphere. That's what I noticed. It looked like a very informal and easy way for people to just uh, yeah. enjoy a great meal, but also meet some new folks and, and see what else goes on at the center. Um, what are uh, some of the other social events? I know that you have a lot of them going on throughout the year. We do. We try to have a social event just about every month that includes our Thanksgiving luncheon and Christmas luncheon and fashion shows and such. Probably our biggest, uh, most popular over the last couple of years is our antique car show mm -hmm. every June. And we have about 50 um, men and women. Some come with their wives and they each bring in an antique car and we have the whole parking lot full of antique cars and you can come and you can wa walk through and they'll talk to you about their cars. We even have a few that are, have a steam engine and they're replacing the water on their way to the center. They're filling up the steam engines with water. It's quite a show 
And then along with that, we have 50 cent day. And we have um, hot dogs and Italian sausage for sale for 50 cents. We've got oldies music playing and Cokes and ice cream. And the friends have a bake sale. And it's a great day. And all ages are welcome. That's our community outreach. And people bring their grandkids. And um, it's just a really nice event for the whole community. It sounds like it, and, and I know we have a picture uh, up at some point, and it, it really does look like fun, and the yeah. beautiful cars, great cars. Uh, we have uh, now some more video uh, that we took this morning, which w is the mm -hmm. uh, big band and the Italian class that we talked about, and that was wonderful. So I want to have a chance for, for the viewers to see kind of what was going on today and, and music and also a little intellectual challenge that folks were having, so uh, we're going to head on for that. It's, it's a group of the group, oh, a group, yeah. of, friends. group of friends. Yeah, group oh, of friends. Okay. Uh, if you stop at San Pietro, uh, uh, yeah. if you stop at the, the, the Colosseo. Uh, e comincia a tu, tunare, just a colando, codita. Yeah. <laughs> You're all the same. You're all the same. Uh, it's, uh, so it's, uh, these responses, I'm the only idiot that, that uh, came out of the regular <laughs> route to get you earlier. So, okay, let's uh, continue this piece here. Uh, Translate that word. Right, no, that's, <laughs> that's why it's for yeah. C-A dot dot dot. It's a swear. It's a swear. It's a bad word. Yeah. It's a bad word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> continue. Check video. That, he's swearing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Dot dot dot. Bad word. Bad word. Bad word. place. Tell me about your meal program. We've had lots of food. Tell me about your meal program. Yes, I'm glad you asked. We have a new chef. Uh, he's actually a self-trained cook, David, and he has brought in so many people. He's a phenomenal cook, and he makes everything from scratch. He even makes homemade breads every morning. All desserts are homemade. Soups are homemade. 
potatoes have mashed potatoes have three types of potatoes okay. in them. I'm going to interrupt you because you're making me hungry. <laughs> now, how do you fund all this? Um, the town helps to fund the meal program, but but other than that, the friends come in and they pay for the paper products for it, and they pay for all the furnishings in the center. We would be lost. We have not had to submit a capital request in 10 years, thanks to the friends. Well, that's terrific, and I know we have somebody, uh, Ann, who's going to be talking a little bit about it. But yes. thank you so much for being on thank the show. Thank you, Susan. It's been great. Thanks for coming to see us today. Okay. Great. Hi, Ann. Hi, Hi. Susan. You're Ann Horhan, is that right? If I got the pronunciation correct? Yes. And uh, we've, this is sort of around the midday, and we've been having a wonderful time at the Senior Center this morning, taping a lot of the activities. And I understand through Linda that you've been really instrumental in all of this and have been a volunteer for a number of years. How, how did you happen to get started here? I first came as a, to a friends meeting, and the friends are a group of about 15 women who fundraise uh, for all different activities to provide things at the center that we don't have money for in the budget to make it a little bit more homey and a nice atmosphere. Some of our activities for the fundraising are a letter writing campaign and the thrift shop. Well, we saw the sh uh, thrift shop, and I think actually we have some pictures that are going to go up while we're talking, but it looked like you had a lot of items in there, and maybe you can tell us how do you, how do you get all those items? Well, it's open every day, and it's been open for about three years, and we're always looking for donations of gently used items. So people can contact uh, through the Senior Center phone number yes, if, they they can, if they want to do Yes, anything. and they can drop them off right here at the Center. And the letter writing campaign, is that to the It's a yearly public? donation campaign, and we also have um, people that send in donations monthly, and we publish them in our newsletter. And I think you had mentioned something about that you have a summer uh, We do. We have a summer well. function. It's called the Concert on the Common, and uh, it's held every year. And we also have an upcoming event that's going to be at the 99 Restaurant. Uh, and that will be a fundraiser also uh, for the Senior Center. So the friends are really busy. The friends are very busy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're just about out of time, but I can tell from the way you smile and the conversation we had before that this has been a really enjoyable activity for you as well. It is. It's a very positive experience being here with the seniors. They're a very dynamic population, and they're very fortunate to be able to have a place like this to come to with such a great staff. Well, thanks for being with us today. It's Thank been you, great. Susan. Hope to see you again. Debbie, it's Hi. your turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Debbie Trifletti, and you are the outreach worker, correct? Yes, I am. Yes. Well, welcome. It's nice to have you on here, too. Thanks. It's my pleasure. Good. Can you tell us, as the outreach worker, uh, what you see as the, sort of the sort of the kernel, the, the most important part of your work? Sure. Um, although I wear many hats, I do feel that um, working with the individual is my most important work. Uh, trying to make sure that they're educated and receiving the support services that they might need to make them safe and successful in their own home. Uh, that can range from as simple as Meals on Wheels um, to a companion coming in um, so that they have some social um, interaction. Um, two is um, things as far as um, advanced directives for health care. I also spend an awful lot of time in the fall um, helping folks um, with their Medicare and choosing Medicare supplements as well as the um, prescription Part D um, health plans, which is very confusing for some folks. So that's where my main focus, I believe, is. Is, is uh, reaching out to the community and helping, particularly focusing on individuals, educating them. It's, you're doing a lot of education. A lot you? of education, and I do have a lot of lectures throughout the year, um, specifically on some of the topics like um, health insurance or Medicare mm -hmm. or those types of things to keep folks informed. Mm -hmm. And I know that you do a lot of work with groups. Too. That's right. a big part of your uh, position, isn't it? That's true. That as far um, aside from the individual, I do spend an awful lot of time working with groups. Um, I have probably a five or six support groups that I run, um, and they can range from low vision um, of hard of hearing to uh, successful singles or caregivers. Um, within those, um, the Caregivers Program is an excellent program that we run here. It is to help people who are in fact caring for an individual. Um, the program is uh, facilitated through Greater Lynn Senior Services, and our um, facilitator is Elizabeth Cochran, and we meet here once a month, and that is um, very, very helpful for those folks. They feel very isolated, um, can't always get out, don't have that support, and meeting with other people struggling with the same things um, as they are is very helpful. Um, the other, one of the other groups that um, I have been working a lot with is called Successful Singles. 
And that group I started about six years ago. It, it came out of um, a, a surviving a loss program that we ran, and we still had um, a group of widows who were um, not, they weren't in the grief, but they weren't really ready to make their own life yet. And so I developed a program called Successful Singles that um, takes singles, whether by choice or not by choice, who are interested now in developing or learning some of the skills that they might need uh, to go on and make their own life. And each year, um, we talk about those issues and we come up with speakers based on the needs of the group that year. Can you give us a, kind of an example of some of what those speakers sure. have focused on? Because I'm sure people watching, this is, this is an interesting and a really it's unique been, kind it's of a, program. It's a wonderful program. Yeah. And I've had a range from um, basic auto repair to uh, makeovers, to financial folks coming in, to nutritionists who've come in and done cooking for, for one. Um, along with that group, I want the group to be cohesive and, and um, make new friends. These people are single, so we do, in fact, um, go out frequently. They, they do wonderful trips. Um, they have an annual spring luncheon that we do. We are, next month, we're heading to the Peabody Essex Museum for the brand new exhibit. Oh, um, so they really do get out, as well as um, we have our meetings here and we focus on some of the um, topics that they're struggling with. I think you mentioned auto repair or auto <laughs> now has anyone gone ahead and done anything with their not auto not say auto repair <laughs> um, we have had um, a wonderful mechanic who um, is right in town come in and talk about what types of things um, particularly women that's who's in the group mm -hmm, by mm -hmm. you know by nature um, should look for in a car and what and where they you know making sure that they don't um, have someone that isn't totally honest in their repairs and how they should go about that so that's been well received and we've had him come three times in the past six years. So Sounds that's like there, people are getting both social um, events that are exciting, but also some very practical uh, Absolutely. experiences, which is terrific. Actually, the practical is very important. And um, uh, my background happens to be in healthcare, so once a year, because being single, I think there's specific things that a single person needs to be watched for in their health care system. So I go over that every year with them and make sure that they're aware of those systems. And I also make sure that they do are aware of the advanced health directives, and I can help provide those to those mm -hmm. folks who might not have those. And uh, numbers-wise, it seemed to me that you had said you when really I started When here. I started six years ago, um, there was approximately 10 or 12 folks at the first meeting. And uh, six years later, I now have 35. And um, it keeps growing, and it's an exciting, fun group. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah. One of, I think, one of the pictures that we're going to show has folks on the beach. Yes, it. yes, we went out. Actually, it was in Gloucester, and we went out that day, and then we went to a lovely lunch up in uh, Wentworth by the Sea um, in New Hampshire, and it was a great day. So they all had a great time. And you had good weather, it looked like too. Yes, yes, it's always <laughs> worth something. Yeah, you plan it so far ahead, you never right. know. <laughs> well, now for folks who are watching, if people are interested to find out more about either the individual services or the uh, some of the groups that you've talked about. How would they reach you? They can simply just call the Senior Center um, at 781-598-1078 and ask for Debbie. Um, I can be reached. I'm here every day. And I'd be more than happy mm -hmm. to um, talk to them about a group, um, help them get hooked into the next meeting if they're interested in coming. I can make an appointment if it's in an individual um, case and they have question about insurance or something. Um, so I'm, I'm available through the newsletter or through also you can find the information online um, at our website. And we're going to be putting up some of that information, both phone numbers and address and website. And I know that Linda had said a while back, too, that it's anyone is welcome to just even call and see if they could have a tour or just come in. We would be yeah. happy to. to I, I take people on tours all the time. I think it's a great way for people to see what the center has going on. We have an awful lot going on. And usually once we take someone on a tour, they're surprised. I had no idea you had this yes. much down here. So we're well, very maybe, happy to do that. Maybe seeing some of the video we've done today, too, will good. give people a good idea. Yeah, that would be great. Now that we're talking about groups, I also wanted to mention that we at GLIS are going to be having a special program for men in May. Great. It's called Partners in Health, and it's part of our research that we're doing. So we're asking men to come and join us to look at a video and focus on a topic that relates to communicating with your doctors. Yeah. And we will be giving stipends as part of the research, $30, and also lunch. So Oh, that sounds great. So we'll have that information Oh, that's a wonderful too. program. Yes. And I know we don't have a lot of time yet left, but uh, can you tell us a little bit more th about the trips? I know there's some social we trips. We have a wonderful well. trip coordinator who um, puts together fabulous trips. And we have as many as five or more trips going out a month. 
They're a great socialization. It's great for people to get together and to be able to go out to maybe a new restaurant, a new museum, uh, travel up the coast in the summer on a beautiful summer day. Um, we, they're very popular. You need to get on the list right away if you're mm -hmm. interested because we do have a great following um, and I think that the uh, trips are a wonderful addition to our program here. And your particular trips for your groups are, they, people can find out that information when they get more information about the actual group. Is That's that right? right, and I do have specialized trips that specifically address their needs. Um, if it's a hearing group, we might go into the Museum of Fine Arts and have hearing assisted devices so we can go on a tour and they can actually hear what's happening or closed captioning for vision impaired or that type of thing. Wonderful. Well, we have had a wonderful day here, and I want to thank you so much thank for being a part of it. My and, pleasure. Uh, look forward to seeing you later in the spring. Great. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you.